All right, let's pray. Close your eyes. Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray these things in his name. Amen. Okay. Last week. Who remembers? Oh, you guys paying attention? Very good. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. This is a long one. Let's read it together. You ready? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right, take a seat, TJ. Sit down, sit down, buddy, come on. Thank you. Good, good boy. All right, but today we're going to talk a bit about how God loves you and you and you. All of you, you as well, and you. Does God love you? Yes, he does. And you? How God loves you and the ways God loves you. This is our memory verse. Shh, boys, shh. memory verse today is a short one. It's an interesting book name, isn't it? Song of Solomon. Shh. This way. Song of Solomon. Hey. This way. Come on. Sit down. Chapter 2, verse 4. He brought me to the, well, oh, how do you say this word? Banqueting. Banqueting. House. What's a banquet? Who knows what a banquet is? Mix. Yeah, that's right. It's like a party, isn't it? It's a food. And here's, look at this. Banner. It's a banner. It's like a flag, isn't it? Banner over me was love. So this was like a love story between two people. Atticus, don't do that, please. Two people. But... It can be understood like God's love for us. See, his banner over me was love. Let's read it together. You ready? Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 4. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Love. How does God love us? Let's think of some of the ways he loves us. Ah. Oh. Loves you a lot. What's, another, what's one way God, we know God loves us? How does he love us? What do you think? What do you think, Timothy? Giving us life. Very good. If you were paying attention to a sermon recently, you have all the answers. You guys paying attention? You guys pay attention in church? In the preaching hour? Yes? Good? Like yes? He gives us life. Aren't you glad you're alive? Who's glad they're alive? Hopefully everybody puts their hand up. <laughs> I'm glad I'm alive. Because you know, if you weren't alive, you wouldn't be here today. All right? Aren't we glad we're alive? Well, this is one way God loves us. He gave us life. The fact that we're alive is because of God. Isn't it? What's another way God loves us? What's this one? Sarah. Family. Hey, we have mom, we have dad, we got brothers and sisters. Yeah, God gives us these relationships, doesn't he? The people in our lives. Sometimes it's close family and friends as well. So we have people in our lives that God blesses us with and we get to enjoy friendship. Everyone likes friends, right? Who likes friends? Who likes friends? Everyone likes friends? Atticus doesn't like friends. <laughs> did you? You like friends? Oh, okay, you do? Maybe you weren't paying attention. <laughs> What another, another way God loves us? How does God love us? Ooh, what's this? You like this? You like this? Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, that one. This one. You like these? Yeah. You like eating those. You like eating these? What do you think it is? Eating. Yeah, that's it. Hey, God provides you, doesn't he? You have food and clothing. Everyone got clothes on this morning? 
Everyone got clothes on? Good. Yeah, you don't want to come to church with no clothes on, do you? <laughs> Aren't you glad you got clothes? So you got clothes, you got food, so like God loves us. What's another way God loves us? This one. You know this one? Praying. Praying? Yeah, so what happens when we pray? What are we doing when we pray? Who knows? Speaking to God. Speaking to God. So how does God love us when we speak to somebody? Can you imagine if you spoke to somebody and they're not listening to you? Oh, he's listening to you. But does God listen to you? He does, because he loves you. So when you talk to him, he listens. That's another way that God loves us. We can pray to him. He's not a God that is so far away we can't reach him. He's not a God that doesn't listen to us, that doesn't care about us. No, God cares about us, even though the universe is so big. Big universe, big planets. But, you know... Even though God is so big, he still listens to us. When we pray, he hears us. That's how he loves us. What's another way God loves us? Simon. He died for us. He died for us. That's right. He gave his life for you. You know, because we're sinners. We've sinned against God. We've broken his commandments. We've done bad things. And because of our bad things, we deserve hell as a punishment. We would go there if it was not for God. But... He died on the cross for our sins and rose again the third day. You go, you always remember it this way. You say, how much? Hey, stop mucking around. How much does God love you? How do you remember it? This much. See? And he died for us on the cross and rose again the third day. Okay? That's how God loves you. Okay, let's uh, read our memory verse again. Ready? Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 4. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. God loves you. How much does God love you? This much. <laughs> he died on the cross for you. All right, we got some games today, so let's stand up.